The Mississippi River handles almost half a billion tons of cargo. The U.S. is the breadbasket of the world, so uh, wheat, corn, all those agricultural products are shipped through the Mississippi River, as well as the uh, material that go up the river to the foundries uh, in Chicago, in Alabama, and in those other states that are serviced by the Mississippi River. So we are the gateway to the heartland and the gateway to the largest shipping corridor in the world, which is the Mississippi River. There are so many communities would love to have the Mississippi River flowing by and weigh anchor at, at their docks, but we, we have it and we intend to use it. We handle those materials which are critical to, to the infrastructure of the ports along the river from the headwaters all the way to the mouth of the Mississippi River. We like to tell our friends and colleagues in New Orleans, if it wouldn't be for the Chalmette and St. Bernard, there would be no New Orleans. Uh, we, uh, we, of course, are located uh, at a site where the Battle of New Orleans was fought and, and won by, the, by uh, Jackson. And uh, so we were proud of that, but we, uh, we do let them know that uh, if it wouldn't be for Chalmette, there'd be no New Orleans. The Port of St. Bernard is quite unique in, in many ways um, because of its geographical location, but particularly the Chalmette Slip, which is a slack water slip cut off of the Mississippi River and surrounded by a levee system. It is the only slack water slip on the lower Mississippi River. That combined with the availability of all of the Class I railroads and the proximity of the interstate system as well as the depth of the Mississippi River, make this a perfect transmodal facility. So in all aspects of cargo handling, um, these facilities at this port have all of that to offer. And over the last 15 years, um, the port has grown from uh, a small entity that only had a couple hundred thousand tons of cargo to over 10 million tons of cargo. Uh, also, the, uh, the port's job base has grown exponentially. Uh, originally, when we came to the port, we might have had 100 jobs, um, you know, 15 years ago. Now, the uh, direct employment is 800 jobs with over um, 2,000 jobs if you include the uh, indirect uh, jobs, which is about anywhere from 17 to 20 percent of the total jobs in St. Bernard. There are numerous types of jobs available uh, in the river system or on the river system, in the terminals, in the plants, on the boats, on the barges. Then there's all the back office um, jobs. So there's everything from accounting to human resources to marketing. Um, it's, it's a tremendous job opportunity and it's a very significant business. I've had the honor and the privilege of being the project manager on building our new crane and barge pieces of equipment. It's a 10 to 12 million dollar project, it takes a lot of coordination. You know, I'm just a clerk, so they have a new program, a, a CIC program where you can step up and be the clerk in charge. And, and you know, like I told some of the guys, I'm like, the next forklift class, you know, I'm taking it. You know, they're cheering me on, you know. And I'm like, in five years, I'm going to be in that crane, you know. So, you know, they're like, go for it. You could do it. You could do it. So, you know, that's, that's my goal. That's, I'm going to take that class and I'm going to get certified. I'm going to show them I could do it. So, you know, I love it. It's, it's a wonderful job. It really is. And the porters, you know, yourself, uh, it is something that's been growing for years and it continues to grow. And I like the idea that this is something that I can grow with. Yeah, and I've watched St. Bernard Parish and Port grow over the last 30 years uh, from infancy to what it is today. The economic impact to the region is, is tremendous. Uh, and it's all a result of the flow of commerce that happens, uh, that happens on a 24-7 basis because of the river system. Bobby and his commissioners have done a fantastic job of expanding. They used to do just a little bit of sugar and a little dock here and there. And now uh, they load grain, they load bulk, they load whatever they can load. So uh, it has grown by leaps and bounds.
Bye.